Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another real estate podcast. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO. That's right, Chief Everything Officer here at Independence Title. I'm joined with a fantastic guest, Brad Ballard with Gold Star Mortgage. Brad and I go way back, probably about 20 years. The coin was flipped a little bit because yep. I was the mortgage guy and you were the title guy when I first yep. got started in the business. True, full circle. Full yeah, circle, yeah. so welcome. Yeah. Today we wanted to talk about a fantastic program we have called the Mortgage Fast Pass. It's a unique program for agents here in South Florida. You know, we know that we're entering uh, turmoil times, right? We don't know what's going to happen. Interest rates are on a rise. The housing market, could it crash? Could it stay flat? Could it go up? Could it go down? We don't really know. We're, we're just about at the midterm elections here. Uh, we're in the middle of October 2022. And, and Brad and his team, it's, it's Brad, his lovely wife, and they have a fantastic team over at Gold Star Mortgage, came out with this great program for the fact that we work together, we work together so well on so many deals that this program makes total sense for, for these listing agents and buyers agents here in South Florida, really to make more money, I would say, right? And to speed up the whole process. So, so basically two years ago when the industry was changing and we were competing against cash offers, cash offers, cash offers, that's all we heard, right? So we had to come up with something for our buyers that are getting financing. So what we did is we came up with a fast pass mortgage approval process. This is not DU. It's not a pre-qual, it's not a pre-approval. This is an actual underwriting approval that we do while the buyers are out there shopping. What's the significance of that? Well, it takes out anything that could hinder the deal. We're getting the VOEs. How many realtors have had a deal not closed because somebody got a VOE a week before and there's commission changes or changes from W-2? It's an airtight approval. When we get that, the significance and why we have to use independence title is there's very few title companies that can work at this speed. Because when we make this offer on the fast pass, it's a 17-day closing. Yes, 17-day closing. From the day the contract signed to the closing, the underwriting is done. Now, what are some other things we can do to speed up that process? We have the buyer make the EMD deposit right here at Independence Title. If it's a gift, let's get the gift letter. Let's get the funds ready. Let's get the underwriting done. Let's get working. So all we have to do is get Independence the contract and order the appraisal. And another thing that's very significant in today's market, which our buyers really have embraced, is once you are underwritten through our fast pass approval, we can lock in your interest rate right now. Now, why is that significant? We all know. It can insulate you from the rising rates that are going to come up in the near future or not. So what if wage rates go down, Brad? We have a free float down policy. So this costs you nothing by locking in right now. To give you an idea, we fast passed people 30 days ago. Their interest rate that they're locked in at is a half point less than the current market rate. So another thing that, you know, we really have to emphasize city lien letters, surveys, things like that. The one thing that has stopped my fast pass is when buyers insist on using their title company. This is why we've had this affiliation. This is why we're successful. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, we go back in time probably, you know, six months, maybe eight months ago where, you know, people, these agents would do an open house and they'd have 100 people walk 100, in the door. Right. And any financing deal thrown out the door. Buy no. because there's a buyer yep. who's willing to pay cash, who's willing to pay above asking price. Exactly right. And those days are over, but the agents still need to be able to come in with a solid offer. So this is almost, I would think, I mean, obviously, you know, we never give legal advice and accounting mm -hmm. advice, but this is like walking in with a cash offer almost. You're putting the contract in with no financing contingency, right? And sometimes, hey, Brad, would you mind speaking to the listing agent to explain how you can offer this? Gladly, part of my job. They embrace it. They love it. All everyone hears is the 17-day closing. Now, that being said, why do I personally like it? We get to the meat and potatoes of the deal. If there is a problem, right, we get working on it right now. If I have someone that's a 660 credit score and I can rescore them to 700, that offers them a better rate, different products. We can get working on it right now. Obviously, I'm partnered with you and we do this thing every year, but we're going to start pushing our buyers to get fast pass that want to close by the end of this year. It's going to be November, right? Yeah. I mean, you think about it, you want to close for Christmas. You want that commission for Christmas right. to, you know, buy your kids and your family, a, you know, beautiful Christmas uh, gifts and stuff. And I think one of the unique things, too, I, I spoke to Mary about this yesterday when, when we were 
you know, briefing about doing this video is that most mortgage brokers, when they're doing a pre-approval, you know, they'll call you on a Saturday, you're running credit and you're saying, oh, send me a pay stub or a W-2. Yeah. This is full IRS transcripts she's ordering to make sure like, we're not going to have a surprise at closing no. where all of a sudden there was this item on the 1040 that Correct. we didn't know about or or this was, was not included in your Or the VOE, w they, they changed their pay. We see this all the time. Somebody sends us a W-2 for 98000 Their pay stub matches. We get the VOE. Guess what? What? Four months ago, they were switched over to commission. Half and half. We need a two-year pattern. It eliminates the surprises. The other thing I really like about this is going back to the people that are locked in right now at a half percent less than that. We can use this as a way to motivate people to buy. Hey, that rate that we locked you in at, it's gone. So do you want to get into a place at the end of the year at six and a half percent, six and a quarter? Or do you want to be stomaching today's rate? That being said, if we have a free float down, there's no disadvantage to locking them in right now. So this really determines who's serious, who's not serious, who's going to give the deposit to independence. And when you're out there, think of the excitement of presenting a 17-day offer. Now, let's talk about it. So yeah. it's great you say, you know, present the offer, which is great. Yeah. You know, we work great with a lot of buyer's agents. We know we're kind of on the border, Broward, Palm Beach County. Yeah. Broward County buyer picks title. We know that, which is fantastic. So the buyer's agents watching, they can sign up, get their buyer on this program, get them approved. All the money's in escrow, go show them a property and land it almost as if it's a cash offer because they're like 17 days. We're going to almost be ready to close before the inspection period is Correct. expired, which Correct. is rare. But now let's just flip the coin a little bit to those sellers whose property have been sitting on the market now yeah. where it's no longer 30 days. Now it's 60, 90, 120 right. days because either they have unrealistic expectations Correct. or the buyer's coming in and all of a sudden 30 or 45 days in, they're like, oh, buyer got denied financing. Oh, appraisal didn't come in. Oh, yep. they got something on their credit report. Correct. So for a seller that is even in Broward to kind of entice them to get a better offer, they could probably call you and say, listen, I want all of my buyers to go through this fast pass process. Correct. Right. What right. would be the benefit of these, you know, a listing agent to call you to do this? Right. Well, for them, I mean, for the listing agent, we want to know who's credible, who's not credible. This really eliminates anything not going through. Now, does every deal get approved through underwriting the first time? Maybe not but at least we can get to the heart of the matter on improving the situation. That's a good point you bring up about the shifting market. These sellers that have now had the house on the market for 90 days, 120 days, right? The buyer's agent can use the fast pass as leverage. Like, okay, we're gonna come in at this number, but we'll close in 17 days. They are gonna be more apt to take that. I, I think it's funny what you said about your open house. They had an open house across the street from my house on Super Bowl Sunday this year. We could not get down my street. They did an open house three weeks ago. There was two people that came, looked like they were there for the free food, right? The market has shifted. Totally. Yeah. And you know, now we're also looking at, you know, a lot of agents are scared, right? A lot of agents, so let's just say a listing agent, you know, and a lot of the clients know, you know, I used to own a real estate company yeah. many years ago, so I've coached agents. I still coach agents to this day. And and one of the things I always say, you know, agents are so hesitant to say, well, I don't want to, you know, force them to use. Yes. This isn't the agent. Agents, this is not you forcing anyone to no. use Brad or Independence Title. This is not you forcing. This is you going to your seller and saying, hey, seller. I think we can structure your listing better by bringing in my mortgage and my title partner to say, listen, buyer, we're going to give you an incentive to use, you know, buyer picking title and paying for title insurance is not a law in Broward County. Mm -hmm. So very easily a seller can put in a listing just like these REO companies say you have to use our title company. A listing agent can go to their client, the seller, and say, hey seller, I wanna bring in my mortgage and title partner. Mm -hmm. We wanna run title ahead of time. Yep. We wanna make sure our buyers are gonna be approved to come in. And we're gonna offer contribution to closing costs. Maybe we'll pay for an appraisal. I don't know what the sellers are allowed yeah. to pay for the buyer, right. but to basically say buyer, Here's two reputable companies, a mortgage company and a title company. I would love you to use them if you want to buy my deal. I'll even give you incentives to use them right. because I know we're going to get to the closing table. Correct. And what you're bringing up that we can tie other things into it. We're focused on fast pass today. We also have a two for one seller buy down where rather than offer a little bit less of a listing price, go the full offer price, buy the buyer's interest rate down. 
you know, get a seller concession. Use these things to help us get through this market. If someone could get a 2% rate less than the current market right now just because of a seller concession, do you think it's easier for me to sell a 4.75 rate rather than 6.75? The people want to feel that we're navigating this market to the best of their ability. And it's changing. As just as you're saying, it's changing. But we're excited about the changes because this is a way for us to take our market share. I mean, we remember in... in 06, 07, yeah. 08, when the market started crashing, yeah. like we didn't know what we were going to do. Nope. You went into the mortgage yeah. business and and it was all about really trying to create opportunity mm -hmm. for everyone in the industry. I remember I used to sit when I was a mortgage worker, you would do all my closings yeah. through, through the title company and you would create opportunities for the agent on the yeah. other side. You know, so it's all about creating the opportunity for you, the listing agent, you, the buyer's agent, you, the buyer or seller that maybe you're having a hard time getting your buyers a property. Maybe you're having a hard time selling the property for your agent. You want to look better. You want to look stronger. You want to look more confident in what you're doing in this business because now is the time. I've said a lot of my mentors that are in business say the next six to 36 months are going to define whether you just got lucky or you really know what you're doing in this business. Mm -hmm. Listen to that again. The next six to 36 months will define whether these agents just got lucky in the last 10 years mm -hmm. or they've actually built relationships and they're closing deals. So I encourage you to reach out to Brad, reach out to his lovely wife, uh, Mary, and, and we've been working together for 20 years. And what's so, the one thing that kills deals that everybody knows? What does Brad always say? Time kills deals. Nope. I can't tell you how many times on a Friday I get a call on a Monday for a couple. They split up. The deal didn't go through. Someone got cold feet. A hurricane's coming. Time kills deals. We do not like the word extension. We never ask for extensions, right? We want to get these deals under contract, get them closed, and get on to the next deal. And as we wrap this up, the last thing I want to say, because I think it, it really is a defining aspect to why our deals close more often without problems is because it's Brad and Mary and myself. So we own the company. Right. So when you have a challenge and you say, oh, I'm not getting title quick enough for whatever reason, or hey, I need a rush lien search. And most title companies will say, well, we're not going to rush it because we're not nope. getting the fee. They won't even order the survey until I tell them I have the appraisal back. A simple, this is the one thing that can kill it. We've had it happen. We cannot do this with other companies because they it's a commitment from us. And listen, there's a little bit more cost to it. You, you mm -hmm. put it on the table. You're going to go ahead and order that because you know we close just about every one of our deals. Is there a more underwriting cost to Gold Star on this? Sure. Our underwriters are spending time on deals that haven't closed. The big banks do not do this. The big banks are call me when you get under contract. Right. You know, one of the unique things is, is you and I, we don't have a second option. Right. right. We don't have a second option to feed our family. We don't have a second option to earn money. Right. Like this is our business. Your title, so, I'm mortgage. We have a vested interest to make sure these agents are closing. Correct. These agents are closing on time, every time without a problem. And that's the most important part, guys. When you have a problem on your deal, you're going to text Brad or you're going to text myself. You, you're not going to text just a title closer or just maybe a loan officer. Like you have access to us to make sure that if there's a challenge or a question, yes, you can always go to the team, but we're accessible, we're reachable because we don't have another option. Like our backup plan is our plan. We don't have another plan, right? There's no plan when the market crashes to feed our family. We like, are this invested. This is our plan, right? We're invested. we're invested. So anyway, I appreciate the 20 year Thanks, relationship Kevin. coming in. Yeah. You know, we work really well together. I'll put all of Brad's contact info, my, my contact information below in the comment section. I encourage you to reach out to one of us just to learn about this Fast Pass program and, and how we can truly leverage relationships in order to get you more money, but more importantly, serve your clients better. So I'm Kevin Thatcher with Independence Title. That's right, the Chief Everything Officer, and I look forward to seeing you on another video soon. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.